Hey boys and girls, BQ here, and it is the Impact Lounge. In 2018, Impact Wrestling is looking to expand its taping schedule. This was, this is, oh my god, it's almost like they've been listening to me and the thoughts that go inside my head, because all I've ever wanted was for them to do about a month, maybe five weeks of tapings at a time. They did that a little bit in 2016 under Dixie Carter. I think they did it a couple times, and it worked out really well, in my opinion, creatively and, um, you know, for the fans too, because when you do so much, people want to criticize whether it's, you know, the, the Ottawa crowd or the impact zone, when you do that much and it's three and a half hours of wrestling a night, five days a week, six days a week, people lose energy. I talk all the time about being in the house when Eddie Edwards won the title and everyone's energy was so done by that point. It was very hard to get excited over it. I mean, people did, everyone stood up and it got, it was crazy, but you know, um, he came out for a promo not too long after that for the live audience. I mean, it was on a future episode of Impact, and um, people just weren't into it because they were tired. So I really think this is what needs to happen, you know, four to five weeks of uh, TV at a time. And it's going to it's gonna prevent what's going on now with, like, Laurel, uh, Loki, um, you know, what's, what happened even going as far back as Bobby Roode and EY. Um, there's a couple other names in there, but it, it's preventing that where people leave the company during the tapings and then we have to endure a whole set of watching them when we really don't care, you know, because we know they're not there you know, in the future. So this is something that's really, um, really good. There, there is talk that in 2019, they're going to return to the UK and do the UK tour. So as I've said in a video before, they've never said they were going to be a, uh, strictly Canadian based company. I mean, yes, they're based out going to be based out of Canada as far as the offices, but they have never said that all comp all wrestling was going to go on in Canada. They're trying to do a 50 50 split. They're doing Orlando, obviously in January, they're looking at doing in Windsor, Ontario, um, in March. And that's the area, you know, border city wrestling. And, um, and you know, with Scott, Namore, I talked about in the previous video, him being, a vice president he's a really good guy to have in the full because this is a guy that's taken um his family business to new heights um you know built it a lot bigger than than what it started you know obviously done good things with border city wrestling and pan am like this is a guy who's run a lot of successful companies he knows that area and he knows how to market in that area so hopefully that is where impact tapes in march and i, I think they're still looking at india next year i have no idea um, I would imagine that's probably pushed off a little bit. I don't think the, their Sony six contract is to do India every year, but I know it's something that they want to do and you know, they're looking at other markets, but I think they can do the Chicago markets and, and things like that in New York. But you know, it, these, these partnerships, these potential partnerships, uh, that, that are, that are possibly coming, those are going to play really big roles as far as, because they don't have the drawing um, power, obviously, and there's not really a lot of people on the roster right now that can draw because I don't expect EC3 uh, Lashley to be around much longer, and those are kind of the big ticket ticket guys. Are they draws necessarily? You know, we could debate that, but it looks like they're doing a 50-50 split and trying to do the UK in 2019, and also with this, what I think is really good is that, um, you know, the creatively when you have less TV to work with um, because you because you see when they do these long tapings the last like three or four episodes are always terrible so now creatively we can get a tighter set of tapings and you might even be able to build to these one night only's a little bit you know if they decide to go that route where the one night only's in 2018 kind of matter a little bit um, you can actually with such little TV you can actually kind of build towards that and uh, what I really want to see happen is them do four to five weeks of TV at a time and then do, you know, almost like bi-monthly pay-per-views. And that might not be able to something they can do financially. And then in 2018, finally, they're looking to hit the road a little bit more consistently, smaller venues. And if you guys have heard on my channel where I talk to people who were actually there, you know, maybe it wasn't the largest crowds in the world. I think they did fairly well, to be honest with both of them. But there was they they were doing a lot of great promotion within there, you know, upselling packages, upselling VIP, upselling photos. The merchandise was doing well, so it wasn't to say that they were failures by any stretch of the imagination. They actually did really well as far as all that goes. And if you you know do the small venues, 
I've said it several times, Ring of Honor does a venue right here that's in Collinsville, Illinois, that's that's really small. Um, they don't draw a big crowd at all. But, um, of course, the wrestling media will not let you know that. But small venues, ones that don't cost a whole lot, and continue to upsell the packages. And, you know, even if they, you know, two or three in the year, that would be great. But hopefully this is the year, lots of growth. We, were, we thought... 2017 was a year of impact and it wasn't even a little bit you know you you could argue maybe it was in certain areas but lots of chaos so 2018 um, let's hope for some stability and we'll see what happens thanks for listening guys hit that subscribe button peace